Let's see if we can get everybody else to help out a little bit this time. Good morning. Oh, that's so much better. And I'd also like to welcome all of the children who are worshiping with us online this morning. So I have a question, especially after we just finished singing. Who likes to sing? I do. We have one half-hearted. But yes, I love to sing, and I'm guessing that our guest today, Calvin Street, I'm guessing they like to sing too. What do you think? They do a pretty good job, don't they? This is fun. So I'm really, really glad that they are here to sing with us today. Thank you, guys. So what are some reasons that we might sing? Because we are happy. That's actually first on our list. Very good. Okay, so what are some other reasons that we might sing? To worship God. That is on my list, too. So we we sing because we're happy. We can sing because we like the song that just came on the radio. Yeah. It it is our talent because we're very good. Because Because something is stuck in your head, which is the worst. Yes. You think it's the best. Of course, brother and sister are going to disagree. That is not surprising. We can sing because we're sad. Have you ever done that? We sing at funerals as a way to express how sad we are and to ask God to help us in our sadness. I am not about to start crying, but if I'm at a funeral, I usually do. And that's okay. So we can sing to praise God like we talked about. Um, Whether we're in our car or if we're in our house or if we're in If we're in school or if we are here in the sanctuary with our church family, we can sing to praise. Oh, or in the choir. That's an excellent place to sing. Yeah, they always welcome new people singing in the choir. So we can also sing to bind us together with other people. Now, when I was growing up, I went to a family reunion with my mom a lot of summers. And a lot of of the relatives who were there lived a very long way from me. And so I had great aunts and great uncles and distant cousins that I really didn't know very well. But that, that was okay. And there was one thing I remember that we did every single year. We sang a hymn together, and it was, a, it was just the same hymn every year. And it, I guess for some people that could get annoying, but for me, it created a fabulous memory, and it, bound, it would bind me together with my family. And the song is, Blessed Be the Tie That Binds. And we are actually singing that one today later in the service. It's your favorite? Yes. And it's such a deep memory for me that I, I do actually tear up a little bit when we sing that song in, in worship. So I might today, too. It's a big possibility. But songs can bind us together with other people, whether it's our own family or our church family or our neighbors, but songs can bind us together and unite us. So, have you ever, did you ever decide to try to sing when you were afraid? No, you haven't? Well, in our scripture lesson today, it's about a time when there were people singing You think you know a song that goes with this? You don't even know what I'm about to say. But if anybody would know, it's Fletcher. Singing about being scared. Really? Okay, when you think about it, when you think of it, you need to tell me, okay? You can tell me later. But in our scripture lesson, it's about two men, Paul and Silas. Have you heard of Paul and Silas before? 
Okay, now they were traveling around to different cities telling people about Jesus, and there were a lot of people who did not like that they were doing this at all. They really did not like it. And so Paul and Silas got into trouble a lot. And this time, Paul and Silas telling people about Jesus made people so mad that Paul and Silas ended up in jail. So there they are. They are in the center of this dark, dark jail in this little room. And I'm pretty sure they were really, really scared. So you know what they did? They started singing hymns to God. And the funny thing was, it didn't just make Paul and Silas feel better. There were other prisoners in the jail, and they were listening to Paul and Silas singing hymns to God, and it made them feel better, too. So I think it made everybody feel a little less afraid. So singing is a gift from God. It doesn't matter if we're singing because we're happy or if we're sad or if we're afraid or if we want to praise God, or if we want to connect with others, it's a gift from God. Did you have a question? No? Okay. Well, today, instead of praying, what do you think we should do? Sing! How about, let's do one that, that almost everybody here should know. How about Jesus Loves Me? Yeah, you want to do that one? Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so, amen. All right, you guys are welcome to go back to